Hey everyone, it's Alexander again with a new beginner's guide. And this time, because sometimes it can be a little bit confusing about the realms and the character creation in Last Epoch. It's not really that crazy, but let's go over it anyway so you understand the, the speech is sometimes a bit off. So first of all, you want to decide between an offline or an online character, right? You can play offline on the top left, but then you don't have access to cosmetics or even all your stash. I have one offline character because when the game launched, the servers were down, so I had to play this for stream, but I never touched it any anytime ever again. You don't have access to your online character stashes, all right? So offline is really, I don't know why, why anyone would do this, but you can't do it. Just go with online, that's the best thing. Then down here, it says create online character. You click that, very simple. Now you have to choose your realm. That's a bunch of things. Right now, the cycle one, last epoch 1.0 and legacy is exactly the same. Okay, there's no difference whatsoever. But if you have a cyclic character, it does not have access to the items and stashes from your legacy character. Right? If I go to legacy, this is where, for example, I have all my characters because this is how I started. They can share items within each other. The stashes are the same. If I go with my necromancer to the stash or with the shaman, it doesn't matter. I can access the same items, all the idols, all the weapons, everything. All right. But legacy, as it says over here, doesn't have leaderboards. If you want to fight in the arena and get on top of the leaderboard, then the legacy is not to play. You have to play with the cycles. This is also the main idea because it resets leaderboards. Why you might want to choose cycles is going forward, they will usually have bonuses. You notice from the other games like Path of Exile or Diablo, that's called Leaks or Seasons, where you get new fancy things, new items, for example, that only the Psychic character has, or new mechanics that are introduced with the Psychic characters, etc, etc. So this is the idea what you want, why you want to do this. But for example, in my case, I have five Legacy characters. If I now start a Psychic character, he has nothing because I do not have access to the stashes of my legacy characters. So I start entirely from scratch. Okay, if you want to start entirely from zero with nothing to boot, and you want to go slowly through the campaign as it was designed initially, then you do this. Okay, so this is the realms. There will come more. I guess it says down here, usually they last around three to four months, the cycles. So that means somewhere in May or June, I think the next one starts from when this video is released with new things and new stuff. Um, obviously, this is recommended because it has the new, the new stuff usually in it. I'm not going to create one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> but this is what you need to know about the realms. You can still switch them later, by the way, and uh, not later. You can still switch them here in your character selection. Not once you've actually chosen and are in-game, then it is done. Then you have your five characters, right? As it is right now. And each character has three masteries. That's three, right? Three. <laughs> that makes it to 15 overall classes you can play. You click on one of the characters. It shows the masteries here. It doesn't matter. You can't choose it yet anyway. It just shows you what skills it has. And then you can type in your name. Alex Rune Master. And you click continue because there is something more important coming now. You can still go back and choose another one. You can create unlimited characters, by the way, and it sort of is also the idea with Last Epoch that you play all the classes, all the characters, and try all of them. This is why it's made so easy to replay the entire game if you share your stashes with your other characters, because then you have all the items. Now you get to choose, again, here can, you can change the realm again to Legacy and Cycle. Now you're going to choose the mode. Normal means, uh, people also call this Softcore or Hardcore. Softcore means when you die, you just respawn, or you have to do dungeon again, but that's it. Nothing crazy about it. You die, you just try it again. Hardcore means when your character dies, it will no longer be able to be played in the, in the regular cycle. So once you die with your hardcore character, it is sort of degraded into a softcore character. And it also loses the gear, right? Very important. If you die with your gear, it's gone, okay? So hardcore is really hardcore. You, you have to know what you're doing. If you die, it feels bad. You cannot die with this ever, okay? Good. 
So I wouldn't recommend this for, for new players. Next thing is the challenges. This is really, in most cases, you don't need any of this. This is usually how you would create your irregular character. Solo fund account means... See, it says here this character will not be able to party with or obtain items found by other players. Meaning, if you are in a party and someone else finds an item that you like, at some point you gain these resonances, right? That's what it's called. It's items through which you can share items with your with your partner, if you play together a lot. You can't do it right away. You can't give your new character insane items or your new, your new friend, your new insane items. It doesn't work. You cannot change or exchange with your friend any items at all. But it shares the same stash and materials with your other solo account characters. So here it gets a bit difficult. Within the same game mode and cycle. So if you play normal all the time, okay? Like for example, I have five normal legacy characters. So this solo account found character can now share with all the other ones. Just I can get all the stash items, etc. If I go to hardcore, I can't because hardcore is a different game mode. And this character then cannot trade or get the same stash item as my existing ones. Okay? This doesn't work. So this makes it a little bit difficult. This is why it says challenges, right? If you don't tick this and your hardcore character can easily just share all the items with your existing ones. If you're existing normal ones, for example. The next thing is the solo character found, which is top, top notch thingy. With this one, you cannot share any items at all. So this is basically like completely starting from scratch. Anything you find with this, you cannot share with anyone and you cannot get other items from other characters. Nothing. It's basically completely from zero. Basically, if your new cycle starts, this is the same thing, pretty much. Okay. So this is challenges you can do. You don't have to, it doesn't really mean anything other than you can brag about it. Hardcore, I guess, is something you can try at some point, but for most people, the normal is just enough. And basically, the solo account found just means you can still trade your stash items with your other characters of the same game mode. And the solo character found means you can trade nothing. This is why it says solo character found and the other is solo account. You can switch your entire account items, but this can only with this character and nothing else. Very simple. And both of these mean you can never trade with other people in your party. Even though I personally think the party trading system isn't that good anyway. Because um, you have to play a lot to get these resonances to trade items. It's a bit weird, but I guess they wanted to stop people from abusing the system. Anyway, this is how I do it. And then if you create character, you start straight with the, the season, which I'm not going to do now because I don't want to do this with this character in general. So this is how the character creation works and the things you need to know about setting it up. Again, the, the biggest thing you will most likely ever deal with is the realms when the new one starts, the new season, but it will show it on the screen anyway. I just wanted to make it so you know what these things, especially char character founds, actually mean. I hope it helped. If you have any more questions down in the comments, like and subscribe if, you, if it helped you or if you enjoy these kind of guides. And I will see you in the next video.